Hey there friends, it's Kate, and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. So today's video, I am bringing you part three of classroom setup. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I started filming this last week and got like absolutely nothing done. So if I have any footage from last week, I will insert it into this video. Um, but yeah, today is part three. I'm doing my classroom setup kind of like sporadically throughout the year, um, just because we are doing distance learning. We already started the year. We are halfway done with the second week of school. So yeah, the kids aren't actually here, but I do my teaching from school every day. So it's really important for me to like feel comfortable in my classroom, have it set up, but also having it be like completely 100% classroom as if it were the first day of school ready was just not a priority. Figuring out how I was gonna teach online and figuring out kindergarten, which is a grade that I didn't have any experience with, ended up being obviously the priority because it's not about the building, it's about the learning um, and the relationships that you make with kids, so. Anyways, long story short, I'm doing a sporadic classroom setup over, you know, however many days or weeks or months that it takes, um, but I am excited because it will be ready whenever they show up, so, which won't be anytime soon, which is sad, but, you know, we're dealing with it. Anyways, so I started filming some stuff last week. I think I just got a few things done, but in the grand scheme of things, I didn't get that much done. Um, today is Wednesday. It's our asynchronous learning day. It is 11 o'clock, so I've been cruising through stuff all morning, and I've gotten a lot of my to-do list done. So that will be included in the weekly vlog for the second week of school, which will be great. But yeah, I have some projects. I have some things that I can do today and that I am willing to work on. So I don't know how long this will take. I don't know how much I'll end up be I'll end up doing, but I will make sure to record it for you guys. So welcome to day three. No, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Welcome to part three of classroom setup. And here we go. Anyways, it's Thursday. I have a bunch of stuff. I've printed, I've laminated, I've cut, um, and I have a quite a bit of things to set up today. I am not going to set up my library like I've said in other videos. I think part four is just going to be just my library doing only that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And then, yeah, I fixed. You guys will be happy to see because, oi, I got so many comments. I fixed the O and I fixed the R. I cut the center out. I had no idea how many people were going to be so upset about that. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I pretty much didn't want to cut it out because I had already laminated it and it was really hard to cut out the centers. But you were right. It looks good. I'm happy that I took the time to cut them out and it looks great. Um, so I also got um, pink border. So I'm going to finally put the pink border and double border that, that guy right there. Um, and we will see what else I have to do. I might hang up my birthday wall. I might hang up my, I will hang up my tools for SEL. I might hang up another little board right there. I might finally get around to doing the birthday board. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to do with this. So if you have any ideas, someone said use it as a calm down corner and I thought so too initially, but like with the bathroom right there and the front door right there, if at any point I have like a runner, <laughs> neither of those things are a great idea, but it is a whole like bulletin board spot. So I might put something up there. I printed um, the letters for up here for our brightest work. I didn't laminate our or work, but I did laminate brightest. So we'll see what it looks like. If I have to laminate them, I will, but I actually don't have my laminator here. Also, another thing, everyone said get two laminators, one for home and one for school, and I didn't think I needed to do that, but wow, oh my, I need to do that. It's so annoying bringing that thing everywhere and lugging it around the last few days. I brought it with me and I didn't even use it, so today I didn't bring it with me and <laughs> now I need it, so that's just how it goes. But yeah, so I will probably hang that and see how it looks. I am just gonna do some organizational things over here. Like realistically, I know everyone does that on like their first day of classroom setup, but I just didn't wanna deal with that. <gasps> you guys, the first time I've gotten to see the playground. Every time I've been here, like the, when I came over summer, when I first got hired and this whole time that I've been here, they've had like stuff around it because it's not safe for kids to play because of COVID, but it's gone. And we have such a cute playground. Oh my gosh, I, I love playgrounds. Like that sounds dumb, but if I drive past the school and the playground looks happy, and it looks like a place where I want to play. I'm just like, that's a great, that's a great school. I realize I'm like totally judging a book by the cover, but I love looking at playgrounds. I feel like it'd be super fun to be a playground designer. Anyways, I digress. Um, and then I'm going to fix that because I realize it's gotten really crooked. Gonna fix that, maybe hang up some objectives. 
But yeah, I have a lot of things that I wanna do on my front board, but I'm not sure if I'm super ready for all of them yet. Anywho, this was a super rambly intro to this video, but hi, I'm Kate, welcome back to my channel. I am a first year kindergarten teacher here in Northern California, and welcome to Classroom Setup. If you don't already, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel down below. Um, I also know that there are several of you, several new friends, so hi, welcome, I'm so excited to have you here but a lot of you are not subscribed. So make sure that you subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment down below so we can chat there and keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm hoping to get done today is hang my alphabet. I printed, cut, and laminated uh, my whole alphabet. So I'm just trying to figure out where it's going to go. I feel like it should go along my front board. Um, but it's just a really large board and I hope it fits. Um, and I might have to like respace it several times. But I think that's the plan right now. There's also a gigantic smart board. I have this gigantic board in the middle, or I'm sorry, I have this gigantic TV in the middle of my whiteboard, which is great. It is big, it is quite large. So I'm probably going to have to work around that and see what I can come up with. So the problem is once I, they look really cute right there. I really like that. But then like once I start doing them on the other side, I don't know. I don't know if it looks as good, you guys. And also like the TV just comes out so far. I feel like parts of it will be blocked, but maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. And like, maybe I don't need all of that over there. Maybe I should just start it farther down. I don't know. Okay, so it looks really cute, but it's not gonna fit. So I still have like seven letters left and it's just not gonna fit over there. So I think I'm just going to move all of them over and figure out, I guess, do my objectives wall below it or something because I definitely want them all to go one straight line across the whiteboard. So let's just fix it. <laughs> pretty good. I'm a little bit torn on that side because there's just a teeny tiny bit left um, next to the Z and then this side it's just like I would have loved it for it to line up with that with that line in the whiteboard but it's not going to and then I also kind of feel like the J is like kind of hiding behind the TV but I'm not sure if there's like a way I can rearrange it but overall it looks pretty good. I think if anything, I might like outline the whole strip in like black electrical tape or something once I have it like 100% perfect. Oh, I, I don't know. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, but it looks pretty good. Also you guys, oh my God. I like print, cut, laminated a bunch of letters and then I put them in a plastic bag. Um, but now I can't. I can't figure out what the letters are like I know what they're supposed to spell but I can't figure out like the order and I should have I should have planned this <sighs> I know for sure I should have you are three times but I can only find it twice and then you can do but I can only find the you can and then I thought I had printed out our brightest work and I did I have the brightest thank goodness that's in a color but I can't find our work so there's random letters, and then there's some letters where I'm just like, what does that even go to? Like, this might be our, and I might have work. Okay, so I found our brightest work, and I figured this out, I think. So it's like, you are, you are, you can do, but this one I'm missing a U. And then legitimately, I have no idea what those letters are for. Like, none. 
I looked through my PowerPoint of where I made these and I have no idea what those are. They debatably might have been our work originally in black and then I decided to change it, but it doesn't even spell our work. It spells like almost our work. So I'm thinking maybe I lost them. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna hang our brightest work, finally. <laughs> super excited it looks really really good um i think i might just need to bring down the r just a little tiny bit um but i'm gonna staple it i used the good old um little silver tack trick that i showed you guys a couple videos back so that's been super helpful but i think it looks really really cute and then i it says such a bummer because i need four four of five different colors in order to post like the the student work or whatever and i have three of four different colors so there's just a few colors short or a shoot a few numbers short Ugh. so i'm gonna need to go get that before i can totally finish this wall but i'm super excited this is like the wall that i look at the most because i sit right there so i wanted it to be really cute and i like it it looks great here she is looks really really good like i said i'm just gonna bring that down just the tiniest bit so it's in line with the work um but yeah i think it looks really good i'm confused i feel like this paper has gotten more wrinkled since i put it up but maybe I'm just crazy, but hopefully once I like staple the pieces of paper on top of it, it'll look a little bit better or a little bit more straight. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to eat my lunch while I laminate and cut some stuff. I'm gonna hang the banners that go up there because I got them. And then I have my calendar pieces that I cut and laminated. So I'm going to put my calendar together. And then I think that's it for right now. Okay, so I started laminating my letters and this happened so i had this happen before uh, it got like all jammed up in here and i had to rip it out um so yeah um i like just got this laminator so i swear if it's already broken like that's just really annoying okay yeah, good news i tested out i sacrificed i sacrificed the math letters but it came out great so i think it might have just been an accident so still upset that i have to go get them reprinted but not totally upset because my laminator is not actually broken so crisis averted i laminated and cut out these cute little um banners that i'm going to put on my anchor charts up there um and those are from uh, Brie from Teaching the Tiniest, cutest ever. Really like them. My, you saw the laminator ate my R and my A, or my R and my E. So I'm gonna have to reprint those so that I can do the read. And then I don't know what happened to my E right here. So I think I might've accidentally thrown it away and it's gone. But anyways, I have another E, but it's like the same color and I need it to be a different color. Anyways, long story short, can't get that up right now, but I do have all the math ones. So I'm gonna hang the math ones up there. And then I think I have to do the meeting after that. So we'll see how long this one takes. Yay, I'm so excited. It looks so cute. I might need to move it over just slightly now that I'm looking at it on the screen, but it looks so good. I'm so excited to have the rest of them. So here's math and then that one is gonna be read, math, write. Kind of a bummer because they actually say reading, math, and writing, but these boards are definitely not big enough for the ING, which is totally fine, but they look really cute. I'm excited. This area is like definitely coming together and I realized I have so many anchor charts from this week, I should start hanging them up. So I think I'm going to. Hey there friends, so it has been uh, I think like a week, not a week, maybe like five days um, since I last uh, saw you for Classroom Setup. Like I said, I'm doing this video in parts, just kind of setting up as I can, um, but again, it's not always my biggest priority. Um, because we have already started the school year, we are doing distance learning, but I am back in action today. I started editing this video um, and I've gotten quite a bit done. So I think I'm just going to finish up this part right now with the last few tasks. Um, so let me just show you. So the last time I saw you, I did my math wall um, or I did my math anchor chart and I have the pieces to do the read and the write. So I'm gonna do that. I have all the pieces of paper that are going to go on our brightest work, so I'm going to do that. 
I have all the pieces for my birthday wall. And I still kind of need to figure out if I'm just gonna put the birthdays on the door or if I'm going to put them over here. And then I did make my calendar, so I'll flip those around and show you. I at some point lost the Saturday, so I'll have to make another Saturday, but I did make this myself and I'm super proud of it. It looks really cute and it matches my classroom. So I'll flip some of those around and just show you what that is looking like. So right now I'm going to hang the read and hang the right hang the pieces of paper for that brightest work which is gonna look so cute i'm so excited for it um and then i'll work on that birthday wall okay i think they look really cute i'm really excited about them okay so here we go. I also just hung them up with those push pins um, that the teacher who had, who was here before me had. And honestly, I might just keep them like that and not staple them yet. Um, Cause you can't really see the pins and they look really good. And now there's less holes. And I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to get that, that glare spray um, just so that they don't glare. But honestly, I'm so excited about them. I really, really like them. I semi kind of wish I had right in the middle because it's longer. Um, there's another letter, but I don't care. I think it looks still really good. I also wanted it to be like ELA math, ELA. So I'm happy about it. I think they look really, really cute. And I'm so happy that the right ended up fitting. The plan is I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. So I have 20 all together. And then it's perfect because I have just enough left over to add a bottom of 24. So for next year, at this point, I only have 20 kids in my class. So there's no need to worry about that. Um, so 20 is perfect. And then next year, I think we cap out at 24. So regardless, I'll have enough. But for right now, it's perfect. So I have our brightest work. And then I have the same colors that I used for brightest. So I'm gonna do five across and then four down. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that looks like. I wish there was a way for me to like test it out. I feel like if I put tape on the wall, um, it's gonna rip off the paper and that's going to be way bigger of a problem than just a small hole in the paper. So I'm going to hang it up using the pins because I was totally making fun of the pins, but honestly, they're the greatest thing. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> So it looks good, it for sure fits. It's definitely gonna fit, but I feel like it's just like an awkward amount of space over on this side. Like there's just gonna be that whole entire chunk because of the restroom sign. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like I really can't move it over any more than it already is. So I just kind of feel like that doesn't even matter. And I'm starting to wonder if this is the same pink. Like on the camera, it does look the same, but this is just like very bright, but I guess that is very bright too. So we will see, we'll see what it looks like. Um, and then I guess maybe, I don't know, if this isn't a weird amount of, amount of room, I could do something with it. I might put a border around restroom just so it looks a little bit less like so blatantly cut out. But yeah, it looks good. I'm happy, I'm happy with the color scheme and I think it's going to look really good. I just do feel like that is like an awkward amount of space. So we'll see. Okay, so it looks so good. Everything is stapled and ready. I honestly think I'm just gonna keep the pins on here too because you really can't see them. Um, but it looks so good, you guys. And also I feel like I'm just gonna leave it blank. I don't really care. I don't wanna clutter it if I don't have to. Um, and honestly, it is so much space that like, even I can add a whole other row right there at some point. And if I had to squish other ones over, it's all good. So I'm not gonna staple them in. I'm just gonna keep it like that. And I'm really excited. This is like my favorite wall. Just wanted to show you my calendar. I didn't take the time to flip all of them over because um, the way that we do calendar is like we flip over a card each day, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. Again, I'm missing my Saturday, don't know where it went. So I'll have to get another Saturday. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think it looks super, super cute. It ties in all, to, all the colors really well. Um, 
and yeah it took me forever to make this was a labor of love but i'm really happy with how it turned out okay i don't want to toot my own horn but yes it looks so good i'm so excited i've been dying to do both of those things for so long and like i sit here every day and just stare at it and every day i'm like i can't wait for that to be done so I'm so excited for it to be done. These look so good and they're gonna look 10 times better when I put that no glare on it and they're super easy to read, but I love them, I love them. So yeah, so I have, I finished my growth mindset, I did my calendar, I hung up all of my letters. I have that wall that I showed you, this is still kind of a work in progress. I have all of these. Uh, the next part, part four, is going to be the library. So like I said, part four is going to be its own video, which is gonna be the library. I think everything that I wanna do for that, uh, it's just gonna take a while. So I'm gonna to have to do that in its own part. I'm still working on this, on this word wall. This is like rest in peace, first part. First part of my classroom setup, we started doing this and I still haven't finished it. I haven't seen my friend who uh, has the alphabet border for me. She's teaching second grade at a school like literally right down the street But we've both just been so busy and it's not a priority. So so I think right now I'm going to do my birthday wall Do my birthdays Be done. Okay, the night janitor came and it was super awkward So I had to throw my camera <laughs> and stop filming for a second So I am doing my birthday wall and then I'm going to be done. That's I think that's what I was saying I'm gonna do my birthday wall. I'm gonna be done part four is gonna be the library and then I'll probably do a part five as like the finishing touches. So I'll do like my whole whiteboard, um, my objectives wall, all that kind of stuff. Like the stuff that's not super exciting. Part five is going to be the front wall, front board, objectives, and then finally doing um, this back one, which is going to be my word wall, I'm pretty sure, or I'll still, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what it's gonna be, but it'll be perfect because I did that one. That was the first thing that I did. And then it'll also be the last thing that I did. So a nice little tie up. <music> Hung that in like 10 seconds flat. I'm definitely getting better and it looks great. And now, bring you to the border debacle as always I don't know what border to do um so I like these ones I have a ton of these ones and the only place I put them was on um my affirmation thing over there these guys I also really like these and the only place I have them is my math board and then the big one I really like and the only place I have it is my growth mindset so I feel like I have to use one of them right here, but I don't know which one. Um, and then all my little birthday things are these. I got them for free. I'll link them down below. They're just like a free download from, I think it's called prekinders.com. Super easy. They go with the theme. So I don't know. So I could do that. I think that is fun, like this border and the background. And then I guess I could do birthdays in black writing. But I don't know, I feel like the polka dots kind of clash. It's a little busy. The problem with this is like, it's big. This border is a lot bigger. Um, so it's going to take up more room. But it does look good with the black and white. So just keeping the black and white theme. Ooh, huh. I could also do birthdays in a color. I could do birthdays in a color like I did with brightest. Anyone. But this is kind of boring. This is like my least favorite border, I think. I don't know, this actually might be the biggest struggle yet. I thought it was gonna be easier to pick. I also have black and white polka dot border. I don't know if I have enough. So yeah, I also have that border, which might be, I like this, because it's like inverted of that. That could be cute. Hey friends, so it is the next day now. I hung up the birthday bulletin and the border, but I didn't hang up the words because I still had to laminate them. So I cut them, I laminated them, um, and I have all of the little pages um, or little, I don't know, little parts where you put the birthday. So I'm gonna finish this border really fast, hang it up, and that will be the end of this setup. So let's go do that. Da -da 
dun 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 dun. It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. It turned out way cute. Um, so I'm excited. Everything is up. I just used the pins for the birthday, but I'll go ahead and staple those. But for now, it looks good, and I'm excited to write all my kids' birthdays on them. All right, my friends, so that is going to be it for Classroom Setup Part 3. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't watch Part 2 and if you didn't watch Part 1, I will link those above and I will link them down below. Um, and I think this is also part of a playlist, so they might even just start playing after this. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get all caught up on my Classroom Setup series. Again, they're not coming anytime soon, but I am just prepping and setting it up because I'm here every day. It makes me happy and I want it to be ready for them when they do come. So be on the lookout for Classroom Setup Part 4 and Part 5 that are coming at some point whenever I get to those but hopefully soon and I hope you enjoyed if you aren't already please make sure to hit that red button down below subscribe to my channel like this video if you liked it and give me a comment down below so I can connect with you all there thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye everyone